Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta Channel, which is the build at 22631.2338. In this video, of course, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta Channel, respectively for Windows 11 23H2. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. For additional information about how the Beta Channel system works and why there are two different builds that are launching through the Beta Channel every time, you can check out the article below in the video's description. First of all, in this update, we're getting a new widget, which is called Focus Session, and this is slowly rolling out to the Beta Channel, and you can find it by clicking on the plus button on Widgets and then Focus Session. We have it here, and you can pin it. I've already pinned it here. As you can see, we have Focus Session, and you can select the time that you want Focus Session to start, and you can start it. Also, starting with this build, chat is now Microsoft Teams free. Basically, this will be pinned by default to the taskbar and can be unpinned like other icons on the taskbar and through taskbar settings. Also in the settings app, if you search for phone link, you're going to notice here this new toggle from the dev channel, which basically allows you to turn on phone link, instantly access your mobile device from your PC, you can turn it on and phone link will be automatically open. And also what you're going to notice in this build as discovered by Phantom Ocean 3, the new Outlook app and also the new dev home app could be automatically installed in this build and I think that is great. And now let's talk about a few fixes, a general fix map saw fix an issue which was causing some insiders to see untranslated text in some areas across the system, including in File Explorer and settings. Regarding the Taskbar and System Tray, Microsoft fixed an issue where dragging app icons in the Taskbar may sometimes lead to an explorer.exe crash, fix an issue which was causing some insiders to see labels in their Taskbar unexpectedly, and also fix an issue causing Task Manager to not launch for some insiders. Regarding File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue for dark mode users where you would see a white flash when opening File Explorer. Also fix an issue where after changing between dark and light mode, the icons in the command bar and context menu might become very difficult to see. And they also made some more improvements to help with the performance of loading home. And they also fixed the memory leak related to home that would grow each time home was refreshed or accessed. Regarding the settings app, they fixed an issue where settings wasn't launching in safe mode for some insiders. Regarding the task manager, Microsoft fixed an issue where the dialog when collecting a process memory dump that it was collecting a kernel memory dump. Regarding dynamic lighting, Microsoft fixed an issue where you may not see the notification on first update to a build with dynamic lighting letting you know that dynamic lighting is enabled. And now some fixes and improvements for both builds in the beta channel. The camera app, Cortana, and photos app, and people app can now be uninstalled. This update also addresses an issue that affects sleep mode after you zoom from sleep. A blank window appears that has the title Windows Input Experience. This update also addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Excel. It stops responding when you try to share a file as a PDF in Microsoft Outlook. This update also addresses an issue that might make Windows stop responding. This might occur if you use Microsoft OneDrive files that that are compressed by NTFS. And lastly, this update addresses an issue that affects application compatibility. It is related to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And basically, this is all there is to it in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta Channel. If you want to see the whole list of improvements and fixes, you can check out the article below in the video's description. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Manu from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.